Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber and if you're new, what's good, what's poppin' and slid around here. If you didn't already know, don't even waste no time. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't be sorry. Go ahead and follow me on all my socials because it's lit over there too. Let's get into this vlog. I'm coming to y'all nice and cute. Yesterday I did get my nails done. Can you guys see? It's like a green like butterfly kind of thing i wanted to go back along because this weekend is gonna be so fun and i want to be a city girl i want to be late turn you know talk with my hands like this and i felt like i couldn't do that with the short nails you know i had to get into my my city girl hot girl summer nails so we back long i did not vlog me getting my nails done but that's okay because there's plenty of stuff that we're gonna put in this vlog for you guys and somebody like let me know in the comments like leave a comment down below how you guys are feeling about the vlogs like i've just started you know picking up my camera again to vlog but let me know how you guys are feeling what you want me to show more of what you want me to show less of like constructive criticism is greatly appreciated because i don't know i feel like my vlogs aren't being received as well as my fashion videos so i want to know how i can be better so that's that right now i'm about to film a haul i'm about to film a styling haul for fashion nova for the outfits that i'm gonna be wearing in this vlog for this weekend so be sure to check out that haul because that'll be up before this so if you haven't watched that already go ahead and go watch it but i'm really excited all the outfits came out pretty good like considering like i was scrambling and didn't really find no inspo on pinterest but nevertheless there's a lot going on this weekend. It's Juneteenth. I have a whole... Hold on. Let me show y'all. I'm that type A friend that's going to make an itinerary. This is our Juneteenth itinerary of all the things. And I organized it by the date. The daytime moves and the nighttime moves. And then within those, I have the name of the party, the time, the price, the location, the links to the IG post and to the tickets if there's tickets for the event and i also put if we were going or not so a thumbs up if we're going thumbs down if we're not going and then question mark question mark question mark if we don't know so that's that um highly suggest if you're like a type a kind of friend to do something like that or if you have a big weekend coming up to like plan it out and figure out like what you guys want to do and how much it's going to cost and where it's going to be and all that just to like keep it all in one place but nevertheless <laughs> i'm talking way too much this intro is super long all my intros are always super long but we'll get into more of the parties and all the events that's going on a little bit later in the vlog but just wanted to intro i'm also going to be doing my own silk press yes i'm going to be straightening my hair again this is my third time straightening my hair this year also, I don't know if you like li like wig wearing girlies like feel this way But I absolutely do not like wearing wigs in parties because I feel like everyone can see my lace I don't know even if it's like laid to the gods what lace all that good stuff I feel like everyone can see everyone's looking the wigs that I have like they're getting kind of old And this is the only like current wig that I have and it's like closure So like if the wind blows because it's a lot of outdoor parties like when the wind blows you're gonna see all this and I'm not feeling that either. I'm not feeling that so gonna do my own hair we're gonna go through we're gonna do that together show you guys my process on how i get like a silky silk press at home because i've done it before so i know exactly what to do to get it to be that again so let me shut up let me go film this all because it's already nine o'clock i have work tomorrow and yeah i'm already getting weary and i have to still do the try on portion and everything but let me stop talking and i'll see you guys a little bit later when i'm doing my, my vlog it is the next day last night was pretty rough ended filming a little bit late i got it all done so that's a good thing right now as you can see this wig is still on my head but it's only secured by lace spray not um glue so i'm literally about to take it off and i'm gonna take down my braids and then i'm still gonna do my silk press as planned because i literally just woke up from a nap but when i woke up i got the crazy the craziest news my friends sent me this bro I don't know how many of my subscribers are in the Jersey area or in the tri-state area and we're planning on going to Juneteenth, New Jersey, but it's canceled. Literally two days before the event, they canceled it. I think the, the mayor or governor, whoever, said that we they couldn't have it anymore. And I'm not going to lie to you and say that I'm not disappointed. Like, I was really looking forward to going. Like, yesterday, I planned out all my outfits for the weekend. You already saw that was on the itinerary, like... This is kind of, it's not devastating, but like as a Jersey girl, there's never really any Jersey events. Like all the events are usually in New York City. So it's just like a little sad. Like I'm actually a little sad. I would be lying if I didn't say I was a little sad. 
but still gonna do my hair as planned it still has to get done today for a good silk press i think that it's best to let your hair be dry fully for at least like 12 to 10 hours before you take a straightener to it because moisture is probably still in your hair so i'm going to unbraid my hair and wash it and i'm going to blow dry it later tonight and then sometime later tomorrow i will strain it we didn't pl have anything planned for friday thank god but we do have things planned for saturday night sunday night and monday let me take out my braids maybe i'll show you guys me doing that and then wash my hair once i'm done washing my hair i'll sh show you guys the products that i use because i'm not one of the youtube girlies that could sit up in the shower that's just gonna stress me out even more but I'll show you guys the products that I use for my hair and then I'll show you guys me straightening my hair but that will be let's get into unbraiding my hair I unruly crazy finished taking out all of my braids i'm about to wash my hair right, maybe i'll film like the blow dry process for you guys i just don't have much experience filming and doing my hair at the same time so we're just gonna have to see how that goes. okay goal. hair is washed i look absolutely crazy i will show you guys me blow drying my hair but i wanted to show you guys a little bit of the progress that i've been making for my outfits this weekend here is the progress so far these are all the outfits that i decided on yesterday you'll see most of these fits in this vlog if not, you'll probably see some of these in the haul that I just filmed. But I also want to show you guys, I got these new balances. I got these new balances. New balances are so popular right now. And I don't have any gray sneakers, so I got these. These are not the, I think the normal ones are the 990 V5. These are the V6. Yes, V6. These are the V6. And these are also reflective. I do like these ones because... Um, it has a lot of different grays in it, so it has like this dark gray, this light gray, this like kind of like purpley gray, and I think this is good because it'll match with a lot of different grays, um, and just other outfits in general, but I don't have any gray sneakers, so I'm glad I got this. TBD on if I want to bring this with me, um, this weekend because I don't want to get them dirty and I haven't even enjoyed them yet, so here are the sneakers. They also did come with gray laces, which I really appreciate. I feel like sneakers never come with... Oh, it's not focusing. They never come with an extra, like, color lace. Like, you always have to go buy, go out and buy that. Love a new sneaker purchase. I haven't gotten new sneakers in a, a long time. I'm gonna put all these clothes in this suitcase because, uh, yeah. And then I also have packing cubes that I usually use, so I'll probably use one of these. I will link these below. They're also in my Amazon storefront, so let me go and blow dry my hair. <laughs> shampoo i use this um this gets the hair really really clean and it does it is kind of stripping so for my secondary shampoo i just went in with this miel mieli however you pronounce it hydrating shampoo and then for conditioner i literally just use this generic conditioner i couldn't find my good conditioner nowhere so i just use this i'll see you guys tomorrow we are out roller skating. I never got to do my hair, hence why I got this hat on and my um my curly wig. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll get a little bit of montage clips and we're about to have a little bit of fun on this Friday night. Yesterday was so fun. I went ice skating with my aunt and my sisters. Yeah, my aunt's birthday is actually Juneteenth, so I won't be able to celebrate it with her, but I was glad that I was able to do something with her at least this weekend. And Friday was one of the days that I was free. So today is Saturday. I'm going to go to the store really quickly just to get alcohol and chasers. But I was thinking instead of making like Instead of just getting alcohol and, you know, doing a regular, regular pregame, me and my mom and my aunt came up with some names yesterday for, like, Juneteenth-themed drinks. But I thought it'd be, like, a little cute touch to our weekend because we are going out basically all of Juneteenth. So, 
I'm going to go to the store. I already went on Pinterest. And I'll show you guys me making them. I think that'll be a cute, like, addition to this vlog. Like, making Juneteenth drinks. There's this drink. And this is cute. It has... And then there's a few other ones that I thought were pretty cool. So there's this blue Hawaiian party punch. And I actually do have the cherry. So I wouldn't even have to worry about that. This one is called in the driveway and this is a blue cocktail and it has Kiraco, Kirosco, I don't know how you say that blue peach snaps and vodka so I think that's what I'm gonna go get and I'm gonna go get pictures from Dollar Tree to put them in like little pictures and I already have um index cards because I'm gonna write the names of them and I'm gonna tell you guys the names right now the first one is the emancipation elixir <laughs> another name idea that we had it was called power to the punch very cute and then the last idea was liberation libation really excited let me go hurry up because it's already nine o'clock and my hair is still not straight y'all oh my god and it looks absolutely crazy so please disregard so let's go get some stuff and i'll take you guys i am back from shopping it was pretty successful i got everything that i needed to make the drinks i'll show you guys a haul later because the frozen stuff is in the freezer and some of the stuff is in my car because i didn't feel like bringing it back inside the house so we're gonna get into this silk press i just went with the blow dryer again one more time because it was in a braid i'm gonna show you guys what i'm using and i'm gonna show you guys how my technique a little bit closer to the top because i'm gonna start in the back but i'm gonna be using slick stick i'm going to be using the bio silk I'm going to be using a rat tail comb and I'm going to be using these clips here. I also have hair scissors here. I'm using my babyless flat iron. This flat iron is so good. I have it on 465 degrees. And then I also have this, um, where did I get this? This is a kiss flat iron. It's just like the mini ones that people use when they have like finger waves. But I'm going to use this to get like my, my roots real good, real good. Usually what I would do. Cause I'll split this in half. I'm taking the tiny, like the tiniest. I'm gonna show y'all how tiny. Boop, boop. Can y'all see that? That much for this side. I'm gonna start at the back. Bring it to the top. Try to work it through. Get the ends. Real good. And I'll know if it's enough, cause my hands will be dry, but still have like a little bit of product in them. Like you do not want to OD on this. Or else your silk press is gonna be a cotton press. I'm also gonna use a little bit, a little bit of heat protectant. Again, not too much. Okay, that's good. But to kick it off, I'm just gonna split my hair in half because this is the easiest way for me. So yeah. I have this little section to go but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm actually doing it I'm not doing my edges right now I'm gonna save those for last but I literally just take this one this inner flat iron and I get the roots real good I also don't really care that much about heat damage so I do the chase method I go real real slow like real real slow I usually only do one pass though because it is really really hot literally all I need because it's v-straight as you can see and we're making pretty good progress This side is done. I'm going to bump the ends a little bit later, but let me show you guys how I do my edges. So I literally just take this slick stick, a light amount, very light amount, like that. Take this, literally, press it down, like that. 
suit? No. Very true, very true. Wow, this girl is flat, honey. You aren't telling her nothing. So this side is done. I'm gonna bump the ends after because this is too hot to bump my ends right now. Um, and I'm gonna do this side and we're gonna be done. Okay, hair is done. I'm gonna trim up this side a little too. Took a little older piece. Again, I am nobody's professional. Continues to cut. This is as good as it's going to get. I'm gonna go ahead and bump the ends. <laughs> but look at the difference like it just looks complete <laughs> press at home I'm feeling about to so let me turn these off so they can cool down so I can pack it into my bag let me finish packing and then I'm gonna be on my way to Melanchthon's house I'm back I lied there is actually one more step that I'm going to take and that is wrapping my hair so I'm gonna take the bio silk a little bit like when I tell you uh, hold on this much that's not a lot I take it Yes, tiniest amount of bio silk, literally. Then I'm going to wrap my hair. So to wrap, I usually just go to my ear, make sure you my ear like that. I'm gonna try to make sure it's a straight line. And then I'm gonna take it and start wrapping. And then continue the motion of wrapping. <laughs> Hair is wrapped and I'm gonna finish packing and I'll see you guys at Melon Kwan's house. Let me show you guys what I got from the stores. I went to Dollar Tree, the grocery store, and the liquor stores. So from Dollar Tree, I got Sharpies to write the names of the drinks. I got these like toothpicks to put the fruit on, but I literally forgot the fruit. I forgot the cherries at home, so we just gonna have to rock with the fruit we got. The two um, punch bowls, I wanted them to be clear because there's gonna be fruit in it, but it's fine because the drinks are the colors of this. So, uh, clear cups so everyone can see the color. Frozen pineapple chunks and frozen strawberries. We got peach punch, chocolate, lemonade. We got the pink Whitney. We got peach schnapps, strawberry rum. I don't know how to pronounce this alcohol, but blue Caras Caraco? Caraco? Am I pronouncing that right? Last but not least, Delia! This is just for when we're about to take them shots for when we leave. We're gonna take three to the head. Please do not demonetize me, YouTube. I'm 21. And then the other one is called the Liberation Libation. <laughs> Don't 
be okay but it's fine right now but we're about to do outfit checks smells gonna go first Hi, so Bob. tell them what you're wearing the glasses okay. are given glasses amazon mm -hmm. necklace vivian westwood top urban outfitter cute bag tell far uh-huh hands plt and i got my clothes uh, so cute yeah <laughs> Right, tell us where everything's from. Amazon. Uh-huh. Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. <laughs> Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova Fashion women's Nova section. Fit. I could wear designer, but this Fashion Nova fit. Oh, that's... Uh, on the sneakers, um, these Nike Terminators. BQ. Terminators, that's what they call BQ. Green. Yeah. They go with the top. They do go with the top. So tell us what you're wearing. Bag Prada. Her. Top Pretty Little Thing. Skirt Shein. Shoes Fashion Nova. Um, bracelets a lot of places. Hair. Who did the hair? Me. Her. Me. It's giving Aaliyah, y'all. Rock, rock the boat. Rock the boat. Hey. Hey. But those are our outfits. We're so excited to go out. We made the drinks. The drinks are super good, but I don't want to get demonetized. So I'm going to just bring y'all to the party and show y'all how lit it is. So see y'all. Hey, let's party homes. If I don't the bitches, I need to fit these big old bitties. Yay. Yeah. Uno, dos, no tres, you hear me? Hey. Hey, of course the little like this, you hear me? Uno, dos, no tres, get back up. Get some fuel recovery. You gotta show this door. So. Let me show this door. This ratchet door. Does it get in? I think you just pull it. Oh. We got our food. I don't even remember what I got. I'm gonna get a Swan. Do you remember what you got? Yes. Mm -hmm. The rice with hummus and the burger with hummus. I got spinach in the box. There was saffron rice. That's like the base. Period. And then I got the corn. I got pickled onions, though the grated cheese or whatever the fuck that was. Oh yeah, I don't know what that was, but I got um, that too. I got that. And I couldn't start with the sauce I wanted, because I wanted the garlic yeah, sauce. Yeah, I wanted the garlic sauce too. Yeah. I got a greens and greens bowl, brown rice, baby spinach, harissa chicken. Yeah, this camera is giving. I got the tzatziki sauce, crazy feta, and then I got the corn, more feta, and then like the crisp. And then for dressings, I got the tahini Come ones because they were out of right. the garlic dressing. And then the cucumber oh, lime the best drink. drink. This shit is crap. Uh, so good. All right, well, we're about to eat. We're in New York. We're at South House. Wait, no. Where are we? Elsewhere. Elsewhere, South House. Elsewhere in Brooklyn. We're about to do outfit checks. Starting with Mel. I forgot. Vivian. Urban. Etsy, yeah. it's almost like fashion over. I think Amazon. And then Nike. Okay. And then Telfeezy. And then by me. Black owned, period. Wait, what was the shirt? Kid Super. He got okay. Money. Whatever. Fashion over, women's fashion over, actually. Thank you. I got Wait, introduce yourself. <laughs> Oscar? Hey, 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 Oscar. Off white? 
Okay. 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 Hi vlog, today is Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth to all those who are supposed to celebrate. Today we are going to Galafest. It's a Caribbean soca party. We are ready. We're about to do outfit checks. Sorry I haven't talked to you guys as much, but you know, we live in. I'm trying to live in the moment. But I tried to get as much footage as I possibly could for this weekend. So hopefully this vlog is still good. But let's do these fit checks. Okay. So Oh, I got this from ASOS, a shirt from ASOS. Okay. Michael Kors. Um, thrifted and then Versace. Thrifted, Versace. And then Jimmy, I mean Jimmy Choo, bitch. Um, fashion, fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. Period. The scarf is from a thrift store too. Scarf, thrifted. George, thrifted. Okay. Okay, so sunglasses, Amazon. Yes, I love those sunglasses so bad. <laughs> Bag. Come on, tell Tell easy. Come on, black on. Um, really don't know, but it's just a simple black t-shirt. Um, beads, Etsy, underwear, <laughs> Calvin. Calvin. Oh my Happy God. Pride collection. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Um, shorts thrifted, Nike, and I think these socks are from Amazon. Oh, I didn't even see that. I honestly don't know. It's my cue. I'm gonna say Amazon, because it's probably from Amazon. All right. Though. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Romper, Fashion Nova, Booty by the Gym, Durr. Air Forces, my little frilly socks, Amazon, and my bag is a Brandon Blackwood. You know, we gotta bring out the hair by who? Own. Hair by me. Hair be by, by who? Me. Be by me. Yeah. <laughs> but we're about to leave. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be like a pure bashment. So hopefully, I don't get. Demonetized. <laughs> so I'll see you guys. Niggas ain't got respect. Niggas just got it I put that top I love my Hi vlog. I am back home as you can tell. This Juneteenth weekend was so fun, so lit. Like, I had a freaking blast. Like, me, Mel, and Quan were saying we were three for three. Like, as you can tell, I barely have any voice. We were three for three for the whole weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed. Links to everything in the description below. I seen a lot of people DMing me on Instagram about my silk press, so I will link all the products down below. This is really important. I really think that the flat iron matters a lot and also getting a clean wash like your hair has to be as clean as possible for it to last as much as it did for this weekend because it's literally hot outside i was in hot sweaty parties and my hair still looks pretty good i put some dry shampoo in it and that's another thing black girls we can't use dry shampoo i use the use the dub dry shampoo so that's another thing black people think that we can't use dry shampoo but we can that's what's going to keep it um from being oily and stringy so there's some ways that i maintain my silk press i do wrap it every night um and if you guys have any questions feel free to dm me on instagram which is a perfect plug to plug in my socials be sure to follow me on my socials because some things make it here some things don't so be sure to follow me there i'm traveling soon so there'll be another traveling vlog 
so excited for that. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair yet. I'll probably just get a wig off of Amazon, like a curly wig off of Amazon. This outro has been pretty long, but I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Set fire to the new year, not sleep without